figure something out then 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 the word I mean, the word is not uh, its origin is, is not spiritual. Mm. See, in other words, if we can figure out if we in, in our own intelligence can figure out what the word says, then there's no spirituality to it. You can't say you can't really say God said this because because you, you, you know, that's why Paul said Paul says over oh, the mind of God who can know it you know what I mean? in other words Paul and that's the man that said I heard things that are unlawful to speak on earth and so he knew a lot but uh, so if we can read something and, and just like we studied about that the lame man you know while the crippled man whatever you want to call it how how he positioned himself far away from the move of God that's what I'm talking about, these little things. So we're going to see something. Mark chapter 5. And see, these these things God is showing me now, they're applicable to our, our natural lives, which is good. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we, want, we want to learn some stuff that we can apply to our lives. Okay. Friends! He's got these two headphones. Uh, yeah, but he, he hears me. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, if you want to read, uh, start reading verse 1, Paul, we're, we're going to get to a certain place. I'll tell you where to stop in a minute. Okay, you know this story already, the gathering. Uh, uh, shut off that, the, the machine baby, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, you want to start reading, Paul, please? They went across the lake to the region of the Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an evil spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Swear to God that you won't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you evil spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. Okay, so you, you know the story. You know the story that Jesus um, Jesus um, cast out the demons and, and put them in the pigs. The pigs went, you know, the pigs went over the cliff, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so, so if I would ask you, I want you to read chapter 5 of Mark and then come back and give me a, you know, write me an essay or, or, or a synopsis of, of what, you know, what, what you read. You, you would, you would point out, you would point out, uh, uh, you know, you, you'd probably say, well, the man, you know, you, you, I, I'm just saying what, what I would say, and probably what you would say, you'd start off and saying that, well, you know, Jesus starts off by Jesus going to a certain place and then stepping out of the boat the demon possessed man you know uh, came and met him and then you tell me the the, the name of the, the demon you know legion because it was 2000 and, and then you, you know you probably study 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 it and, and then you know say uh, uh, Jesus cast the demons into the swines or the pigs because they're unclean animals and they kill themselves and Ba 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 ba. You know, and that and that would all be true. That would all be true. See, okay. But by let me ask you a question. By you knowing, by you knowing this man's personal life, okay. By you and I knowing about this man's personal life, how he he was very strong. They couldn't chain him, and you know, he lived in the in the, in the tombs. You have to understand. Uh, uh, in those days, the tombs were caves. Okay, caves, and they put a rock over it, just like Jesus. He was buried in a tomb, which was uh, a hole hewn out of the rocks, you know. 
So today we would call them caves. So, okay, but, so, you know, you would write, but let me ask you a question. So you know all about this man, right? right. You know that he was demon-possessed. You know the name of the demons. Uh, you know where he lived, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, you, you, okay, where does it benefit you? What can you say? Let me, let me ask it, put it this way. And these are good questions, you know. What can you say has been the benefit? What, what can you say has benefited you by knowing the story? Nothing. Although you know the story. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, if I would say, you know, explain uh, Mark chapter 5 to me, you would know the story. And, 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 and so, but it, knowing, knowing this, knowing that the man was demon-possessed, and knowing that Jesus put, cast uh, the swines into the pigs, or I mean the, the spirits into the pigs, knowing that there was 2,000, you know, uh, you, you, that, w that doesn't bring one iota of power into your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all it does is gives you knowledge of this individual and, and one of the things Jesus did. So, do you, do you yeah, see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got to look in here. We got to look in here and, and find ourselves. Okay, we, wow, I'm, I'm not demon possessed. No, I, nobody said that. So, we got to find ourselves. Say ourselves. Ourselves. Okay, so when you say yourselves, you're talking. We're going to go in here. We're going to go in here and find, find where Robert's at, where Manuel's at, and where Paul's at. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 okay, we can eliminate, we can eliminate uh, being demon-possessed. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can eliminate uh, being afraid of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a relationship with him. But so, so we got to find something that's beneficial to us. Now, now read, uh, read verse 5. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. Uh -huh. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. Okay. So night and day. Say night and day. Night and day. 24-7. 24-7. 24-7, right? Uh -huh. uh, he, he was... He, number one. Number one. Number one, he had he had isolated himself, which we, which sometimes we have a tendency to do. Okay, he, and, and and see the word tomb, because it says in the mountains or in the hills, uh, there were caves, but it's okay, that's fine. You know, you think of a tomb, you think of a grave. You know, but a grave is not a tomb. Uh, a tomb is above the ground. Okay, but anyway, so number one, he isolated himself. That's 24/7. He was in isolation, or, 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 or. There's another person in the Bible that isolated himself. His name was Elijah. Where did he go and hide? In a cave. In a cave. And God came and told him, "What are you doing here?" Correct. Okay. So, 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 when we go into a shell, what's this? When we go into a shell, when we go into a shell. Uh, or we isolate ourselves. Now he starts hurting someone. Who's he hurting? Himself. 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 Are, are you getting this? Yeah. When we get in these, when we get in these stages, you know, quote unquote, close to depression or whatever you want to call them, or you know, self isolation, self isolation. Mm -hmm. Then, then you start in. He, he's inflicting pain upon himself. Why? Because he has a very low self-esteem about himself. You see what I'm talking about? There's something wrong with him. Or the, the demons have him believing already that there's something wrong with him. So he starts isolate. He isolated himself. Their, their self, okay? And, and, and now he's hurting who? Himself. Okay? 
Now, self-esteem, uh, uh, you know, esteem, esteem is, is, is uh, is too hot? Yeah. Yeah, difficult. They were right behind the heater. Oh, yeah. that's too hot. Okay, he 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 had a, he had, he had a, 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 a really I wrote I wrote all these things about self. Okay, he had a very bad self-image. Self, there's there's the word self. He had a very low self-esteem. There's the word self. He lacked self-confidence. He had no self-assurance. Now the interesting thing that the Lord started telling me. Like self-esteem, self-esteem, what's this? Self-esteem about yourself can come from no place, not even from God, but from you. It, that's why it's called self-esteem. Wow. Now, if, if, if you lack all these things, if you lack all these things like he did, you, 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 are, you inflict pain on you. See, you pick on you all day. Are you with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so he had nothing else to do. He had nothing. This is night and day. He had nothing else to do, but pick on himself. Wow. He was his worst. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It, it says he. He. What says? You know, this is where we lose it. We think the spirits were cutting him. That's true. Yeah. No, he, the Bible says he would cut himself. 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 Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. That in Matthew nineteen nineteen, you want to read it, Paul? We'll we'll, we'll go back to him. Matthew 19, 19? Yeah. Okay. Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. Wow. Key word. It doesn't say love your neighbor. No. It, 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 now, how, if you don't love your... I mean, man, come on. Wow. I hope you're catching this. Yeah. You, 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 you play a greater role in this uh, than your neighbor. See, this is really talking about you, not your neighbor. Oh, yeah. But it's about it's about you. That just like over here, he had a self, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, a uh, uh, low self-image of himself. Yeah. And when you have when you have all that, when you have all that, you pick on you. You pick on yourself. I'm this. I, I, I you know, I, I, I'm a failure in this. And th you pick on you. You pick on you. Uh, uh, and you start saying, you start saying stuff, you actually start contradicting the word. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, you, you, don't, you no longer say I'm created in God's image. Because you have, you, you've created, self has created, self has created a false image of yourself. Are you getting this? Mm -hmm. So how could you love your neighbor if you don't love yourself. Wow. And if you don't love yourself, you isolate yourself. And if you isolate yourself, you're going to start hurting yourself. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Ephesians chapter... Uh, uh, are you getting this? Yeah. Ephesians chapter 5. Five twenty-eight. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. 
You cannot love your wife if you don't love yourself. Now, here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's, I'm leaving you, what's this? I'm leaving you because you don't love me. See? Mm -hmm. yeah, I wonder how many times that's said. Yeah. Wow. Man. The, person, the reason they don't love you is because they can't love you because you don't love, read that again, you don't love yourself. In the same way, in the same way, love their wives as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. Now watch this. Uh, here's what a man says, oh man, you should, I love my, my girlfriend's body. Mm -hmm. now, oh, you should see my girlfriend, she's got a body, man, I love her. If we got it all backwards. See, the way, the way you, the, when you say that, the way you feel about her is, is how you're supposed to feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. Read it again to, to you get it. In the same way, Husbands ought to love their wives as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. See, self is in there again. Self is in there again. And 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 and, and see the problem? Like I like I asked somebody who said, you know, this is why this is why when someone uh, when you have a self, uh, low image or, or uh, a distorted self-image of yourself, when someone pays you a compliment or, or tries to encourage you or, or sees something good in you and, and, and tries to speak it into your life, the reason you don't believe it, it's not because a person is lying to you, it's because you don't see yourself like that. And we we we've been poisoned in church. We've been poisoned in church, and called it. We use it as a false humility. Oh, it's not about you. It's all about God. I keep finding self in there. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh no, you're only supposed to love God. No, no, you're supposed to love yourself. Why is it okay to watch this? Why is it okay to love yourself? Because you were created in God's image. Oh, I just don't see, I, I can't see that, so I'm just going to keep loving God. Well, that's fine. Keep loving God, but you're going to miss, you're going to miss the, the abundant life down here. Did you lose anybody? No. And I know people get hold of you and get hold of me and say, oh, no, that's pride and that's, uh, you know, that's blah, 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 you know. And, and, and uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like I say, you know, when God said, let us make man in our image, and, and, and uh, it, that, that hasn't changed. Yeah. That hasn't changed. Now, he still sees us the way he created us. It, it, what, what has changed is how Adam saw himself. So that's what changed in the garden. Because right. he said, you know, right, right away, right away, he says, they, they, they saw each other. Hmm. See, they saw each other. See, see? Yeah. And, and they, 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 they knew that they were naked. That, that's an amazing statement because they were always naked. They were always naked. Now, now that's how far they fell. Is how did they know enough? This is really you can really get deep into that. How did they know enough to hide, quote unquote, their private parts? Why didn't they cover their feet? What, what made you know? They they made loin coverings. How, you know, how, the devil didn't tell them anything about that. And that, that's amazing now. Wow. <laughs> but, but, but this, this gentleman in Mark chapter 5, number one, he, he, he decided that 
you know, that he was going to lead an isolated life. Okay? And, and, and you, you lead an isolated life, your, your mind never stops. You can't communicate with anybody, so what you start doing is communicating with yourself. And, and, and you're no longer getting information from others, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and before you know it, before you know it, I believe that's how I got, uh, I believe that's how I got demon possessed. 2,000 spirits, my God, bro, that was, wow. that was, that was pretty heavy, that was pretty heavy. But again, you know, the, 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 really, it, it's really interesting about him, very interesting about him. Um, uh, because you know, after he, after he was delivered, he wanted to follow Jesus, and and the the thing about it is, they didn't have control. Of, you know, people say, well, they were controlling him, they were making him cut himself. No, they weren't. They're making him isolate himself. No, they weren't. The reason I say they didn't have control of him is because when Jesus stepped out of the boat, the Bible says he ran to Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, if the spirits were in control of him, he would have never ran to Jesus. Are, are you are you yeah, with are, yeah. you, are, are you with me? Yeah. So. So uh, we are to love our wives, or we can only love our wives or love anyone else, uh, for that matter, yeah. to the extent that we we, we love ourselves. Yeah. You can't love any you can't you can't love anyone any higher than that. That's a powerful statement. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't love anyone more. Then, then you love yourself, and, and and we make up cliches and all that, but but the fact the, the I, I tell you if you love you if you, if, you, if you start learning to love yourself the way the Bible instructs us, people are going to flock to be around you. Hello, we won't even need churches anymore. Are you getting this? Yes. And all, all we're taught is love God. God is love, and you know we are to love the Lord, you know, with all our heart, all our mind. You know, that's fine. That was the Old Testament. That was the law. But He says, "Behold, I show you a new commandment." You know, I, so the thirteenth one, you know, the thirteenth one is is talking about love, love, but loving who? The, the first commandment's already talking about loving God with all your heart, all your mind. So He's not going to come and bring a repetitious commandment. The, 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 the last one he brought in, he says, I want you to start loving yourself. I want you to start seeing yourself created in God's image. I want you to start seeing yourself uh, as God created you, the, the, the person in Romans chapter 8, whom he foreknew. I want you to love your neighbors as you love yourself. And, and there's another one, e even when it comes to forgiveness, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot be forgiven, you cannot be forgiven beyond, beyond what, what you forgive, because he says, forgive us, you know, forgive us our trespasses, and then it goes, as we forgive others. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so if you only forgive 50%, that's all you've been receiving. That's why we stay in bondage. Because we won't let certain things go. We won't totally forgive people that have hurt us or, you know, whatever, lied and, and you know, we just won't forgive. You, 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 we think we let it go. We think we let it go and it keeps, you know, keeps popping up, keeps cropping up. And, and that's, that's because we've let 90% go. And that little 10% is always there, that little 10%. So we've, we've told God, forgive us. God, this is, this is how we want you to deal with us. Forgive us to the extent that we forgive others. So it's okay. You choose. Yeah. You, you choose. You, you be, the, you be the, the barometer of how much I'm going to forgive you. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. yes. And that's how, listen, listen to me. That this is how, I was teaching the men, you know, this is how you can tell, this is how you can tell when you've been or 
being born again. Not because you go to church, not because you read the Bible, it has nothing to do with it, it nothing to do with it. it is, is, is when you start not only reading the Bible, just like this teaching tonight, you're going to have, when you leave, you got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. Am I, am I going to believe this teaching? Am I, you know, I'm, I, 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 do, do I believe what, that he said that if I isolate myself, I'll start cutting myself? He wasn't, you know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you, let's go back to Mark chapter 5. This man, what's this? This man was living in the mountains in the caves, right? right. And it tells us that he was howling at night and cutting himself, right? Mm -hmm. But he wasn't bothering anybody. Yeah. 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 Think about it, come on. He wasn't, he wasn't a mass murderer. He wasn't a, you know, burglarizing houses or you know, selling drugs. He was, he was beating up himself. He was beating up himself because he chose to live in a cave. Wow. Man. <laughs> Did I lose you guys? No, no, no. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound spiritual, but I mean, it's there. It's there. Now you now you know now you know more about the story than you did. And so so that's what that's what he was freed from. That's what he was freed from. You know because uh, the it's funny part about it, the spirits went into the pigs, but the pigs didn't start you know, cutting themselves or howling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but he was freed he was freed uh, uh, to come out, praise God, he was freed to come out from the cave uh, and, and from hurting himself. That was only taking place, that hurting himself uh, was only taking place as long as he was isolated. And just like Paul says, uh, I want you to love your wives as you love yourselves. And like I say, one of the main things for breaking up is, you know, you don't love me anymore. Well, how could I love you? They won't say that because they don't know what I'm teaching. Right. But the, really the, the, the response would be, how could I love you? You don't even love you. Yeah. If you don't care about you, what's this? If you don't care about you, you want me to care about you? Does it make sense? Yeah, definitely. Well, praise God. Praise. If you could start applying, I'm telling you guys, a young man, you could start applying these things, it'll transform your life. 